Zorin OS and Linux Mint are two outstanding Linux distros. Both these operating systems offer an unparalleled computing experience and they both are an absolute delight to use. Linux Mint provides a streamlined desktop experience with its Cinnamon desktop and Zorin brings a really polished, user-friendly and exceptional operating system for both Linux newcomers and experienced users. Linux Mint and Zorin both are Ubuntu-based but the similarities end right there. Both of these offer completely different desktops, different kinds of software choice, different performance profiles and because of major differences in their driving philosophies, the end user experience is radically different between both these systems. With both Mint and Zorin offering remarkable computing, it can be hard choosing the right one for you. So in this video, we'll be comparing Linux Mint and Zorin OS side by side and having a look at their performance, the user interface, stability, software choice and finally decide which one of these two is the best Linux distro for you, Linux Mint or Zorin OS. Starting off with the user interface, at first look, Zorin OS and Mint seem to have similar interfaces but they are very different from each other. Mint comes with its homegrown Cinnamon desktop environment and Zorin gives us the GNOME desktop environment but with a twist. With Zorin, we get the tried and tested Windows 7 style desktop with a premium retouch. The desktop looks stunningly gorgeous and the layout is familiar to everybody. May it be an experienced Linux user or a Linux newcomer, he'll just know how to use this system. It has a slick menu that organizes everything on your computer and presents in a nice way. And the fast search will help you get what you want quickly. I'm a huge fan of this style menu, whether in Zorin, Linux Mint or Windows 7. Because this menu lets you quickly open things and files without overly interrupting your workflow. Stock GNOME on the other hand sends your windows flying and jumbling the moment you press the super key. Zorin OS lets you work with minimal distraction. Your running and favorite apps on the bottom bar make it very convenient to open and switch between apps and this is very good for productivity. The theming is just fantastic here. The desktop and applications look super clean in this white theme. Just look at the file manager here, it looks so premium. And using the Zorin appearance app, you get some fantastic customization options. In the theme section here, you can choose your desired accent color and dark theme. In the interface section, you can tweak the top bar controls, animations and there's this tangy jelly mode. Then we get desktop and font controls which you can play around with. Coming back to the layout section here, this is pretty cool. From here, you can completely change the layout of your Zorin installation if the default style doesn't ring your bells. We get 4 different layouts here which are very refined. You can see that there's something for everybody here, but I really like the default setup. Overall. Zorin OS provides an excellent user experience for those who want a simple and straightforward desktop experience. The user interface here not only makes Zorin a great Linux distro but also a great choice for an operating system. Linux Mint on the other hand is famous for its homegrown Cinnamon desktop environment. Cinnamon has a very huge fan following and looking at it, it's quite clear why. Cinnamon desktop is highly intuitive, elegant and just so gorgeous to look at. The menu is organized and accessible. You can categorically browse and even search for apps directly here. Controlling your computer is really easy. Linux Mint's interface is quite amazing. While other UI have been evolving to be more catchy and feature rich, Linux Mint Cinnamon is very minimal while not missing out on anything essential. This makes Linux Mint home for a lot of people who just want to get some work done on their computers. Now this doesn't mean Cinnamon desktop is old fashioned or something. The latest Cinnamon is built using GTK Plus 3 so it incorporates the latest GNOME technologies and is compatible with all the themes and apps written for GNOME. Cinnamon is also highly customizable with a wide range of themes and additional widgets called Spices. We can install additional themes directly from the themes application here. I highly recommend that you check out other themes as we have some really good ones here. Talking about the glitter, the effects and animations are there but not so much that they distract you from your work. For people who just want to get some work done, Linux Mint makes a lot of sense. Consistency is another important factor with Mint. While Linux Mint and Cinnamon Desktop receive constant updates, how you interact and use your computer with Mint has not changed in a very long time. That's because there's no need to change anything and this can make Linux Mint a great productivity booster for the long term. Cinnamon Desktop is also very lean and results in better responsiveness compared to other modern desktops. Both Mint and Cinnamon come with a very similar layout which is highly suitable for productivity. But they both add their own colors, themes and their own take on it. I give both the distros a point each as I like both the desktops very much and it's a rather subjective point. You might like one, I might like the other. You can choose whichever you like. Moving on to the performance department, both Zorin OS and Linux Mint deliver phenomenal performances. 
Since both of these systems are based on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS and have similar resource usage, you can expect an identical mileage here. Both of these systems are optimized for day-to-day -day usage. If you compare either of these two windows, then you can expect to see a noticeable performance gain with Zorin as well as Linux Mint, especially on slightly older devices. If you're currently using Windows and you're having performance issues, then any of these two will be a noticeable upgrade. Day-to-day -day tasks like browsing, watching videos and doing office work are all butter smooth on these two systems. Heavier tasks like compiling, rendering and even gaming perform very satisfactorily. Of course, your hardware is the main factor here. App opening, app switching are all very nimble and using Mint or Zorin is an enjoyable experience altogether. In the performance department, both Zorin and Linux Mint get a point each. Linux Mint and Zorin OS are based on Ubuntu and being based on Ubuntu means access to the huge Ubuntu software repositories and the PPAs. The Ubuntu software repositories are huge and contain a very large number of software. And the software that are not available in the official Ubuntu repositories are brought to you through the use of PPAs. PPAs are maintained by the software developers or the maintainers themselves which you can generally trust and install from. Pretty much every Linux software can be installed on Mint and Zorin either through official repositories or the PPAs. The software availability and the general ease of finding and installing software on both these operating systems is excellent. But Zorin OS takes it to the next level. Along with Ubuntu packages, we get snaps here. With snaps, you get access to a huge list of software from big names like Google, Microsoft, Nextcloud, Spotify and so many more. Canonical, Ubuntu's parent company is betting on its snaps to bring more and more high quality software to Linux and clearly it's winning. You might love or hate snaps, but the software availability there is impressive. Then, Zorin OS ships with Flathub integration. Flathub is the biggest library of modern Flatpak apps. This allows you to install the latest of all the software with enhanced privacy and better than before stability. Flatpaks are flawless in a sense that they work without any issues. They are packaged with the dependencies and the necessary libraries to ensure an impeccable user experience. And that's exactly what they deliver. Are we done? Not yet. You can download Windows games and apps from the internet and just double click on them and they'll install on Zorin OS. But that's not all. First, Zorin OS will check if that particular app is available natively in the Zorin App Store and will give you a one-click option to install that. If not, you can go ahead and install the .exe or .msf file like you do on Windows. And the software store here deserves a special mention. This software store here is clean and organized. It's flourishing with amazing apps across categories. Any software you want can be installed in any format you want by selecting here. This is something I've been talking about for a long time. Three package managers and so much complexity under the hood. But all the user sees is a clean, organized and easy to use software store. Linux Mint on the other hand maintains a simple approach here. You get software from Ubuntu repositories and then you get flat packs. That's that. But that doesn't mean it's not enough. I've used Linux Mint since a long time and most of the time, everything I need, I can get from the software store which is very organized. In fact, I really prefer Linux Mint simplicity over Zorin. But then, I mostly install software in native.dev versions. Zorin has snaps and Windows apps on top of what Mint offers. I really respect what Zorin OS did in its software department. This is going to simplify life, especially for Linux newcomers. Whatever software they want, it will be available in the Zorin software store. I agree that Zorin is objectively better than Mint in the software department and it also allows Orthibox Windows apps installation. I am agreeing to this. But I'll give a point each for both Mint and Zorin because Mint doesn't lack anything in the software department and both are top class as far as software availability is concerned. Linux Mint and Zorin both are based on the latest LTS version of Ubuntu and this makes them ultra dependable systems. Both these distros come with 5 years of support. The thing about Zorin and Linux Mint is, they both are easy to recommend. Irrespective of whether for an experienced Linux user or someone who's completely new to Linux, you can just recommend any of these and these distros will take care of the user. They both come with a solid base, well tested packages and a high degree of usability. Ubuntu is a top pick for enterprise. Hundreds of thousands of businesses run their applications on Ubuntu and this demands that Ubuntu be a very stable platform. And it is. That's why it is the professional's choice. Mint and Zorin are built on this very base. That makes them both very reliable. Mint and Zorin are great for students, software developers, schools and colleges and even for businesses. Talking about the usability, we've already seen how easy both of these systems are to use. 
Their user interfaces are fairly simple and familiar to everybody so anybody can just start using them. Along with that, Zorin developers have added many smooth features to make using Zorin an even more enjoyable experience. For example, the built-in Zorin Connect feature. Zorin Connect lets you pair your smartphone with your computer and this syncs all your messages and notifications on your computer and smartphone. You can quickly share your files, control media playback and even control your PC from your smartphone. This is a feature that will be useful for about 90% of people. Kudos to Zorin for including this. Zorin OS ships with a good number of pre-installed applications as well as applications that bring in additional settings. It has many more unique features that make using Zorin really enjoyable. Overall, Zorin OS makes a great operating system that's really a pleasure to use. Talking about Linux Mint, it too comes with a good number of pre-installed applications in all categories. You get an office suit, Firefox browser and a good set of utilities as well. Mint also nicely organizes these apps in categories so even Linux newcomers who might not know the names of applications will be able to get around comfortably here. Overall, in the stability and usability department, Mint and Zorin are excellent and honestly, two of the best operating systems that you can be using today. So they both get a point each year. Gaming on either of these systems is phenomenal. Today, gaming on Linux has reached a whole new level which no one could have predicted even 5 years ago. Today, you can play thousands of top titles on Linux irrespective of whether the game is available on Linux natively or not. Linux now has a ton of native games. Ubuntu repositories bring many fantastic games right to you. Titles like Zero AD, Nexus, Xonautic are all downloadable from the store on both Mint and Zorin. Along with that, you can now play tens of thousands of Windows exclusive games on Linux with ease. GTA 5, The Witcher 3, Cyberpunk 2077 and many more AAA titles are now playable on Linux. Just enable Steam Play in the Steam settings and these Windows games will install and run like they are Linux native on Mint and Zorin. Additionally, Zorin lets you install Windows games directly. If you have game files or disks, you can try to install them directly on Zorin, it'll run using Wine. You can install Wine on Mint too. May it be hardcore gaming or some casual fun. Both these systems are game ready. Even the gaming performance is good here, so Mint and Zorin get a point each for gaming. And you don't have to be alone on this journey no matter which of these two you choose. Mint and Zorin OS both have very large and active communities and people are very helpful online. You can find how to guides and answers for almost any troubleshooting you might need. The community is quick to respond and always willing to help out. Zorin comes with a great guide to get started with which is specifically written for absolute Linux beginners. All the topics are covered very nicely there. Mint 2 has great documentation and it is a very good welcome app that lets you do things like installing the drivers, setting up updates and backups and also configuring the system for you. It quickly shows you around and helps you get started with Mint. Along with guides written for Mint and Zorin which are easily available, you can also use the guides written for Ubuntu for these two distributions. Ask Ubuntu forums are a great resource for any kind of help you might need regarding these two distributions. Getting help is much easier on both these distributions thanks to the amazing Linux community. Zorin OS as well as Mint have the same simple and straightforward installation. Even the most complex operations are represented in an easy to understand and beginner friendly way. You can install both these distributions in 15 minutes. Installation is as simple as it gets. Download the ISO file, flash it onto a USB stick and live boot into it, then launch the installer and follow the instructions. The default installations of both these come with same default settings. You can get the apps you need directly from the software stores on these systems. Zorin automatically installs the NVIDIA drivers and on Mint, you can choose to install them through the welcome app. All in all, getting started with Mint as well as Zorin OS is a very simple process. I have given the download links as well as step-by-step -step installation guides in the description below. Personally speaking, I loved everything about Zorin. It's not just another Linux distro just coming with the same desktop and the same stuff that another 1020 distros come with. There's innovation happening here. The desktop has modern design, the operating system itself is highly accessible and easy to use. Zorin also has this cool app called Zorin Connect which enables you to pair your phone with your Zorin PC and use your PC to take calls and SMS, share files and stuff between your PC and phone, control your PC from your phone which all works flawlessly and is really a great feature to have. Talking about Linux Mint, well, it's just a great productivity oriented distro. The workflow on Mint is as aerodynamic as it could be so to speak. It is highly stable and dependable. A good looking, up to date and capable work environment is available with Mint while avoiding anything and everything unnecessary. This is the reason Mint is loved by millions. But I do want to state that both these distros are very different and are made for very different people. 
so comparing them to see which one is the best is not really fair. But comparing them to see which one is better for you, well that's completely fair. Zorin is great for students and people who love a great looking desktop with features such as mobile control and stuff. If you are looking for your first Linux distro, close this video right now and download Zorin, that's that. While Linux Mint is for a kinda minimalist. For people who don't care if they can control their computers from their phone and are happy with a minimalistic, distraction free work environment to do some coding and writing. Zorin has more features, makes your PC look good, great in fact, in front of your friends. Mint on the other hand has simplicity. It gives you everything you could ask for and stays out of your way while you work. It's completely up to you what you want. It happens very rarely. I always choose a winner but my personal point today is a tie. So both the distros get a point each from me and by the total tally of points, it's a draw today. Both Mint and Zorin are the best in the game and I hope I've helped you understand both these operating systems in a better way. Then you can make an informed choice. If you are still confused, go with Zorin. And if you want to keep looking, then definitely check out my video of the 7 best Linux distros of 2023. I've talked about some really cool ones there, so go check it out. Alright, if you enjoyed this video, definitely consider subscribing to the channel and leave me a big thumbs up. This is the next text, signing out.